Welcome to a new episode of this podcast-like audio-only episode. And in this uh, episode, I would like to invite you to pick up your own pencils, paints, coloring books, well, whatever you use to be creative. And join me in 15-20 minutes of just creative joy. I've learned the last couple of months that being creative is very, very good for you. It changes your brain waves and it's very healthy for your nervous system. And that is the reason that I started this podcast like thing, uh, creating more calmness for my nervous system and hopefully for yours as well, using Creativity, coloring, painting, maybe something else, knitting, anything. I hope you've been doing well. I've been. I've had a a cold. I've had a cold. I have to say I had a little bit of a fever a couple of days ago. But uh, things are improving quickly now. As you know, I'm having trouble with um, migraine attacks and uh, uh, about almost a year ago I started the curable program being working on it for so many months now it has been 100% clear to me that my migraine attacks are really neuroplastic pain it is false alarm and uh, I have another area in my body where there's also neuroplastic pain and that is uh, well pain is not fun but this pain makes me giggle I have to say two years ago I was I had an an accident with uh, ice skating I hurt my knee I needed an operation my knee eventually healed very well and it still is healthy but sometimes when lying in bed thinking about climbing a mountain suddenly my knee starts to hurt and that is neuroplastic pain that is 100% neuroplastic pain so my brain is already detecting uh, danger only by thinking about climbing a mountain that that might be too much for my knee So while lying in bed, thinking about that mountain, my brain is creating pain. I started laughing about it. It happened to me this morning, this very morning, because in a couple of weeks, my husband and I will go to Germany for a couple of days. My husband needs to be there for his work. I will go with him and take some equipment with me so I can do a recording for the YouTube channel but also I am planning on doing some hiking and there are a couple of hills there and I picked one to climb and while thinking about that my knee is already hurting yeah right That is something that I'm going to do in Germany, figuring out how I can train my brain to to climb that mountain, that hill, It's, it's, it's a small hill, to climb that hill without creating pain. Because my knee can do that easily. I'm not a rock climber, I'm not doing anything exceptionally difficult it's just a footpath uphill that's what it is but only thinking about it already creates pain so that's what I'm going to work on there and in the curable program that I am following we are learning a couple of tips and tricks to deal with stuff like this This happens to to a lot of people. A lot of people with chronic pain 
have a nervous system that is just too protective. The nervous system wants to protect us. Well, that's very nice, but uh, I just want to climb that hill. Thank you very much. Now, one th uh, way to retrain the nervous system is being creative. It has been scientifically proven that creativity changes your brain waves. I also think that creativity, being creative, teaches your brain to deal with difficulties in a different way. I think that is very important as well. So, lately, I decided to become more creative. So back in January, I signed up for an art class, portrait sketching. Not online, no, a physical art class in a classroom with a teacher and fellow students. I have to go to Rotterdam for this. So every Monday I get in the bus and then go to the subway and then go into Rotterdam to that class. And I am having a blast. Two hours learning, learning, learning about portrait sketching, about creating portraits with charcoal, pencils, uh, soft pastels. We've had colored pencil, we've had acrylic paint. And lo and behold, since then, I haven't had a migraine on Monday. No, of course not. Because the mind is in a different state of mind and there is just no way it would create a migraine attack when being in such a creative um, mood. Now the interesting thing is portrait sketching is something that I haven't done uh, before. So I knew nothing about it and it's, it's quite difficult. There is a process and I'm, I'm learning that just doing this, the, the steps, taking the steps that a teacher tells you to take, uh, trusting the process will eventually take you somewhere where you didn't think you could go. That's very, very uplifting. I find that so exciting. I have two more classes to go and then the class is finished. And then I will make a video about this and I will show you what I've learned. And uh, I'm planning on doing another class, but uh, first I have a couple of creative chores here in and around the, ho the house. One is painting the home, the house, outside. All the windows and doors need to have a fresh paint. So uh, I'm going to do that. And also, I need to do some work in the garden. And that is creative too, because I have to take out a couple of plants and uh, replant them somewhere else. And a lot needs to be done. And uh, the gardening has another, besides being creative, it has another very positive effect on me. Because um, I need a little bit more of exercise. Let's be honest. My life is about sitting in a chair. I'm sitting in a chair now recording this. And when I work teaching people how to sing, I'm sitting uh, behind the piano with a, a student next to me singing. So there's not much movement in my life. And I want to, to change that a little bit. And that is why... I want to climb that hill in Germany. So lately I've been thinking about uh, new art materials and I was wondering whether there already are new inventions because the last couple of years there have been a couple of wonderful inventions that haven't been there for uh, 10 years earlier. Like, for example, the water brush, the water brush that I'm using now, was one of the first that was on the market, Pentel. I find them wonderful. 
I like the the traditional brushes also. You have to dip them in in a jar of water and then, you know. But uh, these water brushes, they have this reservoir inside of them, a reservoir of water. I love them. I found this to be one of the great art material inventions together with an electrical eraser and then I discovered thanks to a viewer from California who sent me Derwent Inktense pencils a small set she sent me I was completely hooked those were the first water soluble pencils that worked for me because the normal water uh, the normal watercolor pencils I don't know I, it doesn't seem to work for me. I've tried several times. It's just not it for me. I do not own the really, really professional ones. Like Museum Aquarelle by um, Carandash. So I don't know whether that will work for me. I don't know. But uh, Derwent Intense is amazing. And I started googling yesterday. Is there a new invention on the market? And then I was thinking about where should I look on the internet? And then I thought, well, one of the most innovative brands that I know of is actually Derwent. So I went to their website and the first thing that I read was they expanded their Intense series. They have now a pencil set of a hundred uh, and before the largest set was 72 so there are 28 new colors oh my god I want to have them I'm very enthusiastic about that so it's not really a new invention but it is a, in my view a very very welcome addition to the Derwent Inktense pencils 28 new colors and there's one or two colors that I really would like to have a light blue and there are also a couple of colors that are not that different from what's already there but they have a higher light fastness and uh, I love those Derwent Intense pencils so much I would love to make artwork with them but then I need the higher light fastness ratings six seven and eight and those new pencils uh, some of them are actually in those six seven and eight range so i will go back to the internet and see where i can get them because um, they are not available yet in my favorite art shop in rotterdam so i need to uh, to do a little bit of research where i can get them but I really want to expand my Inktense pencil series. Ooh, so wonderful. I have a 72 set now. There was also a gift from a lady from India. It's amazing. I will do a little bit more research about new inventions because there is something on my wish list that I know that some brands are working on because somebody told me this is actually, they ask me not to talk about it. It's really true. It's very strange. But it's been two years now, two and a half years since that person told me, please don't talk about this because we are trying to create this tool. But I haven't seen it yet. I can only say when that is on the market, I will for sure get it. So I'll need to uh, check it out, whether that is already, uh, wouldn't be that difficult to make it. Besides uh, making this little uh, audio only video, I'm also working on a tutorial series about all the techniques that I use to create my drawings. And it's uh, all about layering colored pencil, choosing colors, shading, pencil strokes. And I'm in that tutorial series. I will try to explain to you how I make my decisions 
And that's quite difficult, I found, because sometimes it feels like it's just intuition, my choices, but I don't think it is. No, it's based on experience, knowledge, also taste. What, what do I like? What do I find beautiful? So this tutorial series, I will uh, continue to record it. It's a series of short videos that hopefully will help you to, uh, to find new ways of creating. As soon as it is finished, I will let you know and you uh, will hopefully enjoy it. So I hope you like this uh, little chat. I have a little bit of tea left, so I will uh, take a sip of tea. I had uh, lavender tea. I found it in the shop a couple of weeks ago. I'd never seen it before. But it actually, it smells like uh, lavender. It's just lovely. So, well, hope you have a nice day. Be a l uh, do a lot of cre creative things. I, enc I encourage you to do that. And, uh, well, I hope you will have a nice day and see you uh, in the next episode. Bye-bye.